let's start with uh, so we already uh, discussed or introduced to you a portion or an introduction to solving differential equations using your bungee jumper. And what we did there is we used the Euler method in solving this differential equation. Now, and this is solved by this equation. Okay, now given an ordinary differential equation of this form, okay, so th the requirement to solve differential equation should be this form. Okay, so that's the, the derivative of y with respect to time. So in this case, y is our dependent variable and t is our independent variable. And this is equal to some function f, which is a function of y and t. Okay, so numerically, this is approximated to be the slope of the y versus t graph. So that's y with respect to time. And this is equal to that function f as a function of y and t. Okay, so we already know that this is actually uh, equal to uh, y at a later increment i plus 1 minus y i and this is equal to f times delta t okay so do row i need to yeah okay now you will notice here that this is your usual Euler method and we can identify the following. So if you want to calculate uh, the value of your function that you want to solve y at a certain interval, uh, a certain increments, this is equal to the value of the uh, of that function before this increment and then you do some addition of the product of the uh, increment function times the step size. Okay, so we call this the one step method. Okay, so this one step method is also known as your wrong Kuta methods. So the Euler method is actually one of the Euler uh, room Kuta method, which we're going to discuss a little bit later. Now we can read like this as follows. Okay. So the the solution to this differential equation should be a graph y i plus one is equal to the value of y before i plus 1. So that's i plus f, where, so that's the value of your differential or derivative at the initial value y. So this is y i di times what we call the h or step size. For wrong kuta method, Euler method is actually the first order. Room kuta method. Okay, there are other methods wherein your f is higher order. Okay, now let's try to implement this. Okay, uh, so let's try to implement this using this equation. Uh, so let's use the Euler method to integrate y prime. And this is equal to 4 e to the point 8t minus 0.5 y. Okay. So in this case, this is your f, the function of y and t. Now, how about your h? So let's say for each or step size, 
will be equal to 1. And then the interval of t will be from 0 to 4. Okay? And then it's also important to know the initial condition. So at time equal to 0, so at time equal to 0, y is equal to 2. Okay? So let's try to do that. And I'm going to open my MATLAB. 